Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm doing my end of month pulls for August. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. We've got some elite character tokens, five star tokens. These are all on the new wheels as well. So I potentially could get something nice. I'll pull the temple here on Davy. I'll put it on Davy. Fingers crossed we can get some a decent ascendable this time round. That would be nice. I'm gonna get a bunch. <laughs> get another Carmen. I actually ascended for that character recently. I was very happy to get her. As she was very rare, but now not so much apparently. I think she's pretty cool though. Oh, we get a Rosa. Okay, that'll be some fodder. I've got her already. We're also gonna get get a Rosa. This Carmen. She looks sick. But that's six hundred percent rush on her four slides. It's like what is going on? I oh, got three more. Okay, straight off the bat, we're gonna hit it up on the Eris. The Connor. Where's the ascendable? No ascendable, but we do get a total character at the end. Okay. Got nine weapon tokens. Not that many weapon tokens. Normally have a bunch of these. Normally have so many of these. There is increased rate for four star weapons, and there are better four star weapons in there now. But that wasn't one of them that we just saw. That wasn't one of them at all. The best four star weapons are in the uh, four star weapon wheel though. There's like stun guns. You you guys all know. So I could potentially get something very nice there. Randomly gain AP at the beginning. I mean it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll help a ten here. You can get five stars here. We'll help a ten on the basic tokens. See if we can get anything. Tyrese. That's the old school Tyrese. Timothy. I've got a couple of five stars on here already. I think I got, I think I got Earl on a video. Damn Earl! I think I've got Victor and Governor as well from live streams. Lee, and I think that's it. It is indeed. Okay, we're going to switch up to the main event tokens. Um, I'll do the elite items. Didn't realise I stacked it up that much. We got. 15 by the looks of things. Ulysses, we get out of the bat. A lot of this stuff I'll sell. Trainers, I don't mind too much though. Anything that's a persona trainer, I generally just sell for supply depot tokens these days. Although, now that there's five star arenas, could be useful. A few trainers, but for days, I can always use. But Basil's nicer. Good old Basil. Another Basil. Aiden, nice, nice, nice. And a Brady. Okay, so that's the. Oh no, wait. Okay, okay. It's a couple more than I thought there was. Six in here. So six. Yeah, six. Must have thought. Oh, my mouse just went out the door. We'll pull the fire four-star weapon. We'll pull the four-star, uh, four, sorry, four-star character. Hey, Alan, was rare for a while, I guess. Now, four-star weapons. I really want Clementine shotgun. It's quite early, so I'm going to pull on that. Here it is. That's pretty much the weapon I want. I want to try and get those Telltale weapons and upgraded, just because they look really nice. Laurie's pistol. I think is new for me. Negan's assault rifle. That's new. Oh, nice. The ice pick. I like that ice pick. The old G36, the old camouflage rifle. Meh. I like this gun though. It just looks nice in terms of what it looks like upgraded. It's only got 30% attack realistically. The, the, the third slot special isn't really anything. Oh, this one looks nice as well. Look at that. I bet that's nice when it's fully upgraded. So it has 30% defense, so it's basically like a Desert Eagle. But it does look cool. It does look cool. And then we got this one, which is 30% attack. And again, same sort of deal. There are weapons that have 30% attack, but this one looks nice. The other ones are ones that have been in here for ages. I'm gonna pull the prestige token first. I'm not close to another one. Uh, it's guaranteed five star in here now. Guaranteed five star. I'm gonna pull on violet. But there is a 7% chance at an ascendable. It's a five star we've got so many times. Damn, there are some rare ones in here as well. There are some rare ones. Okay, we're going to go across to the 5-star tokens now. I wouldn't mind a 5-star cinema, of course. 
I think the one that I want is Morgan. I'm going to pull on him. A lot of these are new as well for me, so any of those ascendables really would be okay. Um, there's only a couple of duplicates. Majority of these are brand new. I'm going to do the nine pull on Morgan, and he's who we want. Follow up Morgan would be the main pull. Okay, limited edition Dwight. Ugh, not that much shown. Oh, we get Ajax. He's new. He's new. It's an ascendable. A shield. If you can get a stun gun on him, I guess that'll be okay. Can we get another ascendable? We've got three or four more. Uh, double working bow, pistol, sand. You've got quite a few of her now. Scout. I think he's new for me as a five star. Another Sandy. And is that it? Or is there one more? That's it. Okay, this is the wrong Michonne, but I don't mind getting this Michonne too much. Five star arenas. She is awesome. But at the same time, if she did become an ascendable, she is a rarer character, I guess. Although she's in five star token world, so not so rare now. And this character was really good when I pulled her when she first came out. I, I did a one pull and got her. But I've got like four or five of her now. It's incredible. <laughs> She's like one of my favorite characters, though. We do get an ascendable. It's Ajax. These are the shields. I know that's a big deal for a lot of people, but I've had a shield for a while. I think the only reasonable way to mod him out would be giving him a stun gun, to be honest. So I might go for that. I think I'll, I'll, I'll probably level him up, but uh, not too, you know, not, not too bothered. He doesn't really have that high HP, even with 30 veteran gear. That's insane. In the, even his defense, his attack goes highest, which is uh, questionable, I guess. His attack goes highest. Okay, so we did get an ascendable, and we did get like one or two characters that I've never got before. Scout and that Michonne. But not that, that, that Michonne slightly baited me. I, I, I did look out for the gold star, but it did bait me a little bit. Um, I'm going to switch over to my other region where I've got some more pulls. Okay, so we're going to do the Elite Character Tokens first here as well. I'll do the Temple on Davy as well. Me as well, me as well. I think I've only got 10 here. I might be just creeping into the low numbers on the other side. We get four stars, Ezekiel. Connor. Michonne. Get all the four stars. Carson. Leia. Jean. Bunches and bunches of four stars. A rarer character there, Connor. Okay. That, that, that tough version is pretty rare. And that's it. That's it. Got some weapon tokens. Full straight away. What my next gate is violent. Is it machete? It's a machete. It must be a machete. A four star. It's not a rarer one. It's one of the ones that's been in here forever. I can even get on world map and stuff. Margaret's knife. Uzi. Not the right machete. Not, not the right machete. Get a wrench. I think that's the 10. Any more? That's it. Man, we don't get too many weapon tokens any. Oh, actually, I guess I did pull those part way through the month, so. No big deal. I'm going to do the elite items again. Put on Lilith. Five pulls. Give me some Liliths or Aidens. That's the premium for me. No, 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 no. Gear's fine. As much as it's not high tier, gear's fine just because I know I'll eventually use it, you know. These Persona trainers are getting sold. Got some supply depot tokens. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to go with the four star characters. Pull straight away on Chuck. Hey, Gregory. He was pretty rare at one point. But not anymore. Okay, we've got. Four of these weapons, I'm going to pull on Clementine's weapon again. Because you know. Because you know. Hopefully we get one of the rarer weapons. Um, Diamond Knife is the rare one, right? Diamond, Diamond Knife's rare. I'll take that. Kelly's Tactical Shovel. Police Baton. I think Police Baton's terrible. Diamond Knife is the yeah, Impair on Attack. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Not really sure how I could. Hmm. I mean, that potentially could go on like a support character behind a shield. For instance, like if I was to take Kate, she might only need a large bonus. I think she does. So oh, that could be actually a really good weapon. That could be really good. I'm happy with that. Can't complain. Just to be able to impair someone. Okay, we're on to the major tokens now. And I've got two prestige pools in this region. I'm pretty sure it's 7%. It is. There are some nice five stars in there. And that Yumiko that you just saw to the left of Erika, I actually claimed from my depot recently, which is 
which is kind of nice. Um, I think Lewis is in here, so I'm going to put on Lewis. We did Violet, and there's Lewis. There's the there's the two like season four options. You have to choose one of those two, and we get a five star, and we get another five star. We get Conrad Shields. Okay, I think I, I think I, I'm not sure. I might have claimed Conrad Shield when he was in leagues, but he's he's pretty good now. You don't even have to upgrade his rush either. He's got absolute defense on his weapon for five star arenas. That's pretty cool. And this guy is pretty cool as well because he's got 8% weapon like inbuilt. So you could potentially build an 8% team with him just being a support character, not doing much. It can work. It can work. So that's pretty nice. Okay, on to the, on to the big ones. Who am I going to pull on here? I, I want Morgan. I want Michonne. Um, I would even take a Camilla to a certain extent. I wouldn't mind a Camilla. I don't have her. Riker. You know, I've only got one character out of these Ascendables. I'm not going to say who it is just because I don't want it to pop up. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's Nox, but we don't want him. We do not want him at all. We want Morgan. He's the he's the one. He is... Okay, we're going to put on Marlon and Rosie. Marlon and Rosie would be really cool as well. I love Telltale characters. Any Ascendable pretty much. We get a Clem. Rody's new for me. Nice. Lopez. Kate. Okay. Um, I think I've already... Oh, we get a Camilla on this region. Nice. She is in the League Store. So I, I just dodged it. I don't have to buy her, which is great. That's uh, 12,000 saved. As much as that isn't that big a deal, that is pretty nice. I just pulled her out of this. Just saved... 12,000 season tokens because I inevitably would have bought her 100% she's a good character to be in the league store but if you can get her in five star tokens first is obviously you're saving some season tokens in that uh, we've got Rody as well he just looks sick bad land beat down and I think I think I've got more than two cakes the reason two cakes are good is because you can have one for a normal team and one for a bleed team you could potentially take like bleed in the auxiliary slot on her combat mods or burn um but on a normal team i'd say ap down is generally the way to go or ap drain just because you can have a lot more control there so i can't complain too much about my pools i've got one ascendable on each region and it's new characters in each of those regions i still really really want that morgan like he would be the, obviously the biggest game changer for me and i could actually potentially make a certain type of team until i get that character i really can't do it and um, but that's it guys that's the end of my video i did get like i said couple of assembles can't complain too much and hopefully you guys can get some too if you've pulled any assembles since the new wheels come out do tell me which ones you've got but that is the end of my video thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving